So this is a, a pumpkin plant uh, and uh, the flower you can see is nice and bright yellow. Um, but uh, this one is a male flower uh, because if you see from the bottom, uh, the, the uh, stalks are very long and uh, uh, you do not see any uh, pumpkin-like structures in the bottom of the uh, flower. So that's how I know that it is a male flower. So this is a female flower of the pumpkin plant. You can see there is a bee that is doing its job in the, inside there, uh, bringing pollen grains to this female flower. So that means we'll have lots of seeds. Um, and uh, uh, how I know it's a female flower is one way is to look at the female parts in the center, which is different from the pollen bearing structures in the male flower. And also, um, the bottom part of the pumpkin flower um, is uh, looks like a tiny pumpkin. That is the actually the um, the female structures, the um, gynecium, which um, uh, becomes eventually the uh, pumpkin fruit, and also the structure, the the length of the uh, flower stalk is very short. So. Uh, that is another way to tell that this is a female flower. Pumpkin uh, is uh, starting to grow, as you can see, uh, but then the female male flowers are not anymore, not useful. So this is a male flower um, that has, you know, just bloomed this morning, I guess. So um, it has the pollen grains um, and long stalks. That's another way to tell male flowers and uh, no pumpkin-like structure in the bottom. So I'm gonna make a, a dish out of this, a stir fry, uh, cut it up, chop it up, onions and uh, garlic and a little bit of coconut gratings um, and uh, it becomes a um, dish of its own. So I'm collecting some flowers this morning. Another pumpkin flower and uh, lots of bees in there. Um, yeah, a couple of them in there. Uh, solitary bees looks like um, and uh, um, see let's see if it is a female flower or a male flower long stalk no pumpkin like structure in the bottom so it is a yes you guessed it right male flower I'm gonna cut it for my dish another one right here long stalk long stalk no um, pumpkin-like structure, there we go.